This is Ricardo with smartcloudcomputing.net and today I will demonstrate how to set up two-factor authentication and use a security key in WordPress. WordPress websites are amongst the most attacked websites on the internet. Once you bring your website online, it will be under attack by hackers and they will try to crack the user and password. WordPress is susceptible to a variety of attacks as well. But for now, I will only demonstrate how to protect your user credentials. The use of user and password puts your website at tremendous risk. To mitigate that issue, you must set up two-factor authentication. The most effective and secure two-factor authentication methods is the use of a security key. TOTP FOBs, text messages are fishable. Thus, hackers can obtain the one-time password, rendering them useless. These are the two models I have used in the past. They are the YubiKey 5NFC. You can use this on your computer or cell phone. On your cell phone, you can use it uh, reading the NFC chip in it. It also has a USB-A port. You can use also the YubiKey 5CI on your computer or cell phone. Or on the computer, you can use a USB-C or, or any Android phone with a C port. And, and Lightning port for Apple. In order to use two-factor authentication in WordPress, you need to set up and install a plugin in your WordPress. So go to your plugin section, click on add new, then search for the two-factor plugin. You will see quite a few of them. The one I prefer to use is called two-factor. And you will click on install now, but since I already have it installed, it shows this button right here but you will install and activate it as any other login. So now that you have that, just activate it and then you just have to create a user and set it up. First log into your WordPress as an administrator, click on users create a new user, then fill out the fields here, click on add new user. Once the user has been created, click on it to edit its properties, then scroll down, look for two factor options right there. Click on register new key. Then you have to tap the key when it's flashing. Okay. The key has been registered as you can see. Now here you have to check off this box to enable it and check off primary your primary authentication method then you click on update user once that you have updated the profile then scroll down again and now enable the verification codes this will be helpful if you lose your YubiKey it will be your only way to log back in without the YubiKey so click on generate verification codes, copy those to your favorite password manager, and update user, then log out, and log in with your user. prompted me for a password and prompted me for the YubiKey to be tabbed. I insert the YubiKey. 
now I am logged in. That pop-up message you saw is because I picked a very weak password. A YubiKey is the most effective two-factor authentication method to protect access to your online services and identity and access management services. These are the online services that support U2F, which basically means that you can store the secret key in your YubiKey. You can use your YubiKey on Microsoft accounts like Office 365, and your Google account, Salesforce.com, WordPress, Twitter, Facebook, and more. The identity and access management services supported are Okta, AWS IAM, Microsoft Active Directory, Microsoft Azure Active Directory, Dual Security, Cloud Identity, and more. Not all online services support two-factor authentication. So how can you find out which online services support 2FA? If you want to find out, go to twofactorauth.org. You can also request 2FA to your online services if they do not provide the service. And I will demonstrate how you can do it through the twofactorauth.org website. As you can see here, I'm in twofactorauth.org and all you have to do is search for the online service. I type ADP and this service does not support 2FA yet. If you type Facebook, It shows you that it supports these authentication methods. Hey, before you go, make sure you subscribe for more great tutorials. You can also click the thumbnail to watch another video from this channel. And one more thing, don't forget to check out the description below. This is Ricardo with SmartCloudComputing.net. See you on the next video.